As of 2007, there were 264,000 gas stations in America, and a 2014 study suggested that the small drips coming out at the end of your filling up your gas tank are enough to cause long-term soil and water damage. On top of that, 9 million gallons of crude oil have leaked from gas pipelines since 2010 in the United States alone. So hydrocarbons are clearly a large issue in the United States. And another large issue are the amount of chickens that, that we consume. There are currently 50 billion chickens in the United States and each one of those chickens, on average, releases 0.7 ounces of manure daily. This leads to a staggering 2 billion pounds of chicken manure daily. What do we do with all that waste? Our study attempts to combine the two, hydrocarbon and chicken manure, to see if the two cancel each other out or allow plant germination and growth. So to test that, we have diluted soil samples with gasoline at 10 parts per million, 100 parts per million, 1,000, and 10,000 parts per million. What does 10,000 parts per million look like? It seems like a lot, but it's not. This represents one liter of soil. This represents 10 milliliters. And on top of that, we have added a layer of chicken manure. Now our idea is that having varying concentrations of gasoline might show us a uh, germination and growth ramp depending on the concentrations of hydrocarbons. So for the last four weeks, we've been monitoring growth and we've been trying to determine the effect, if anything, on replicas of these grass plants. Now, some possible outcomes of combining chicken manure with gasoline is that the gasoline off-gasses with the chicken manure. Why would that happen? Chicken manure is high in ammonia, ammonia gas, some form of nitrogen, and it might help the hydrocarbons off-gas.